This is my sexiest news call. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today is day 162, and uh, we're back on the trail now. We had to get off in uh, Rutland to um, kind of resupply and get regrouped, stay at a hotel. It's pretty good, but <laughs> our shuttle driver, God bless his heart, is a great guy and good driver, thank God. Um, we were driving there, his tire fell off. <laughs> like, not fell off, but like all the nuts came uh, shot off and the tire just, or the wheel was stuck on the drum. And we were, the whole car started shaking. Luckily he stopped really quick and everybody was okay. So we're sitting on the side of the road because the car wheel just came off. All the lug nuts fell out and the car wheel is almost falling out. So they're calling a wrecker to come and get the car and we'll see how we get into town now. We couldn't drive anymore. So we had to wait for a tow truck and another shuttle to come and get us. But Harvey had a great time. The, the truck driver let him do the controls to load the car up onto the flatbed, which was a lot of fun. So he he enjoyed that quite a bit. So, and then later on, we got um, another shuttle back to the trail from a fan, which is awesome. So again, thank you guys so much for everybody's help that helps us out. Uh, shuttling is always something that, you know, with a kid, you don't really want to hitchhike and we haven't hitchhiked yet. So we're kind of lucky about that. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for everyone that's helped us in the past and has, continues to help us. All right, so we got um, shuttled from town all the way back to the trail, thanks to a trail angel. Um, we got Mega Minds here. How you doing, sir? Doing great. Thank you so much for helping us out. And then um, tell us what you're about to do. Uh, so my wife and I are about to do a through hike of the long trail. Nice, this Saturday, right? Starting Saturday. I've been watching your videos and I'm really, really impressed with you guys and it was great to meet you and I've really enjoyed hiking with you for a little bit this morning. All right. Yeah, he just did, uh, I don't know how far we did, but he hiked with us for, I don't know, 40 minutes and we had a great time. So thanks a lot and um, happy trails. We just saw our first bear, yay! It was a little bear cub and he was so cute. He looked so soft and fluffy, but as soon as he saw us, he like took off up the, up the hill away from the trail. We've been looking for mom, but I think she was probably on top of there because we haven't seen her, but we're all excited to have seen our first bear. And it was a good bear encounter, not a bad one. <laughs> Dad, you have to check out that shelter. I do, why? Why don't you show it to me real quick before mom gets down here? So we're on uh, the top of Killington Mountain. Uh, there's a point two trail off that we're encouraged to go to, but we have uh, over a 15 mile day and we're behind schedule. So we're not gonna do it. I hear the view is amazing, but you're gonna have to miss this one folks. But let's check out this shelter real quick that Harvey will show me, Mount Killington Shelter. It comes with a Sugar Man. Hello. With some Dr. Pepper, it has a lot of bunks. Um. Wasn't in here before. I think a gnome might have left those Dr. Peppers. Is it magic? Yes. <laughs> and guess what? Guess how cold it is, Harvey. How cold do you think it is? So cold. So cold. Well, guess what? There's a thermometer right there, right on the door. Let's see how cold it is. All right. Let's see here. It says, oh, you can't really see it in the camera. Um, wow. 46. 47, maybe? It's a lot colder today, isn't it? Yes. But that's okay, we're hiking. Good jump, buddy. Mom, let's look down. It says Main Junction, Willard Gap. This is where the long trail keeps going that way. Um, Appalachian Trail goes that way. This is the most important intersection on the entire Appalachian Trail. If you go this way, you're gonna end up in Canada. If you go that way, you're gonna go into New Hampshire and then into Maine to 
Mount Katahdin. But we were away blaze on that path and that path. Well, the, uh, <laughs> both paths are white blaze. That's why it's a very important junction. Because if you take the wrong one, you will fall white blazes continuously to wherever those trails go. Hey, today is day 163. You guys ready to hike? Hey Dad, last we're killing and and ski lift was yesterday. Whoa, we were on top of that mountain yesterday. Yeah, that's so cool. We were hiking along and we found a ladder. Oh gosh, some serious bouldering when there needs a ladder involved. <laughs> go, Mom, go. The last part of Vermont, the last 50, 60 miles, it's definitely a lot harder than the last several states. Um, <laughs> we were talking that we feel like we're back in Georgia because now we're going up a mountain and down a mountain, and up a mountain and down a mountain. We don't have the long ridge walks where you get to walk flat for a while, just up and down, up and down. So anyways, we're gonna be in New Hampshire in a couple of days, so it's great practice for the whites. We're excited, we're tired, um, but uh, we're ready to probably slow down some of our mileage just so we don't kill ourselves when we get to the whites. Um, so anyhow, we're excited, and Vermont, you've been lovely. Um, a couple more days left of you, and then we're out of here. Tonight we're planning on staying at the lookout shelter and it looks really cool. There's a little lookout at the top. Look out on this view down. What view? Oh my goodness. Good morning, it's day 164. Right now we're at the top of Lookout Tower here on top of the shelter. What a beautiful sunrise. You can't really see behind me, but right behind the sun is the White Mountains. They're really big, They're way in the horizon, but I don't think you can see it quite in the video. And it's beautiful. You know, I, I don't think I get up enough in the morning out here. I think I sometimes take the beauty for granted, and it's really hard to do when you've been out here for so long, just to wake up and hike and wake up and hike, but uh, I think I need to wake up more and see the sunrise. <laughs> We're just so tired. Um, but man, just sitting out here all by myself with the beautiful view and the breeze really, really makes me appreciate what we're doing. And, uh, we're going to be done soon and I can't take, take in enough of it. So I need to make sure I take a little bit of time. So don't forget to remind me, uh, remind us to take some time to enjoy the beauty before we get back to life, um, and the hustle and bustle. So Harvey, um, <laughs> loves talking with people that will engage with them. Um, info commercial just engaged with them and we're doing like 20 25 minute miles I'm like racing as fast as I can to keep up with these guys and they're just cruising she's going at her normal pace and Harvey's just like racing to stay up and me and Cassie are racing to keep up with them it's pretty awesome we love it when people engage with Harvey 
because our pace and we get to camp way quicker when he's excited chasing somebody. So we made it down the road and we heard that there was a little farm that smells pies and ice cream. So we got some eggs and a huge pie to share. So we're digging in. Oh, you did it. Nice. Harvey, do you see all these pipes that are on the tree? Yeah. Those are maple syrup pipes. And so they connect them to the maple trees and it collects all the maple syrup. And they come all down to this big pipe and then goes down to the maple syrup people to make maple syrup. Isn't that cool? And then we can put maple syrup on our pancakes. Oh. Do you like syrup on your pancakes? Yeah, but we're on our house. Well, we At the bottom of the mountain. You gotta follow the pipe. Let's go. Hey, limbo, maple syrup, Vermont style. So we found a great spot to stealth camp with a beautiful view and a bench. What do you think about the bench, Harvey? Yep, there goes Harvey. What do you think, Cassie? It's pretty awesome. I'm excited about the sunset tonight. I know, it should be a pretty awesome sunset. Sugar Man, any thoughts on the matter? It's really hot right now. <laughs> All right, well, we'll let you guys know if we get a good sunset. I'll see you in the White Mountains, okay? And you have Good morning. Good morning. So far, this is the prettiest privy I've ever seen. Check it out. We just got trail magic. So we popped out of the woods and saw Ham. She brought a whole uh, layout of food. Hi. Hi, how are you guys? I'm glad we met, met up with you finally. Yeah, how in the world did you find us? It was a lot of luck and a lot of Brian's planning on how many miles Harvey was going to walk per day. And he took in the terrain and the weather. Wow. And the size of the kid. <laughs> it's so exciting. Ham and Brian stopped and um, they set up a whole uh, spread of all different kinds of food. Sloppy Joes and hot dogs with fruit and all the different kinds of snacks you could think of. Um, Ham made a whole bunch of like homemade desserts and everything. It was so awesome. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. This spread is awesome. Listen, you guys made our day by being what we hoped you would be. So we there you totally go. Psyched to, to do this. Just, everybody did it for us, and it was our turn. So oh, yeah, thank you so totally much. Totally cool. It was nice to meet you guys. You guys are totally killing it. We're wicked proud of the way you guys are getting through this. It's well, so thanks. impressive. Thanks. And then at the house that they stopped at, there was um, a kid there, and they had a whole bunch of kid toys. So Harvey's playing with um, the dogs, and he's playing bubbles, and blowing these huge bubbles. It was so fun. So we're so thankful. Thank you guys so much. You made our day. Harvey, what do you got there? Moose claw. 
<laughs> Whoa. On the way out of town, there's this huge bridge. It's like 30 feet above the river and a local there showed us where you're supposed to jump. And so of course, Josh and Sugar Man had to stop and jump off of it. It was fun. We tested it out. I We've been to told this. it's deep enough. We checked it out. We've Three, done what we can. Yeah. <laughs> two, one. Oh my god! That is a long oh way down. Oh my god! Well, if you almost no. didn't come back. If anybody else is jumping off a bridge, would you too? Turns out the answer is yes. Yeah. Hey, you gotta just commit. <laughs> Me and Harvey stayed at the bottom and just swam around in the, in the shallow part of the river, but it was so scary. But the boys did it and none of them got hurt, so that's awesome. <laughs> Welcome to Happy Hill Shelter, the cutest shelter on the 18. Yeah, that's look at this so. thing. So it's not a very big shelter, but you come in here and it has two levels, a loft level, which you can see up there, and then down here it's all stone with and cool windows. windows. Yeah. Oh, that's really cute. Think there are any mice in here? Probably. There's some in everyone. Mom, look. And a comb. And a comb. So, Harvey, have you been practicing your moose call? So you can find a moose? All right. Whoa, that was great. Do it again. Whoa. Do it a little slower. <laughs> okay, it's mom's turn to try the moose call. This is my sexiest moose call. <laughs> Ha ha ha!